So we made it to San Jose del Pacifico. A few days ago. A few days ago. We already filmed a whole like intro of us arriving and going through the town and but we shot it on our GoPro, which had an SD card error and now is completely on the fritz. So we're doing a factory reset and we'll see. Wish us luck. <laughs> yeah. If not, whenever we stop back in the States, we'll just have to take it in and get it repaired. But this isn't our only technological problem that we've had. My computer went on the fritz when we were in Mexico City. I took it to Apple to get it repaired. They were supposed to ship it to me wherever I was in Mexico. And now it's become a huge issue. So I'm over today. Yeah. <laughs> but we're on a really beautiful hike right now. Um, we are walking from San Jose to Pacifico to a different town. San Mateo. Rio Onda. Exactly. <laughs> but it's supposed to be like a five mile, six mile hike or something like that. Be in nature, enjoy it. Just relax. But today we're gonna do this hike. We're gonna go to this other town. We're gonna get a drink, we're gonna relax, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna watch the sunset from the incredible view at the hostel that we're staying oh, yeah. at. We'll put a link in the description of it. It's a really, really cool place. I mean, it's a hostel, but we have our own private room. Right. So that's nice. It's at the very top of the town. So like unobstructed, crazy views the whole time. We've been staying in mostly Airbnb, so we haven't really had a chance to be around many other backpackers. Yeah. So it's been a nice change of scene. It has been. Not that we've interacted that much, but... I mean, they're, they're so young. <laughs> yeah, and it's a really hippie kind of vibe, which isn't exactly us, but that's fine. We're having a great time. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't so this hike is like on a dirt road that kind of cuts between the two towns and there's some cabanas and stuff in between but otherwise we're just kind of walking through the woods it's really really pretty take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out Put it down. No, the deepest part is where you're about that part. Right over there, where you're gonna step across. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. You did it. Somehow we can miss out. it is. It's huge. Is it like a decade? Yeah, this thing's gotta be older than a decade because the agave that they use for tequila and mezcal is seven to eight years old and this is way bigger than those. I don't smell anything. Yeah, agave doesn't make it smell really. You never know. <laughs> so Elliot just informed me that this is a seven mile hike not a five to six like originally it was stated. Oh, so we were navigating to the trailhead of the other hike and you know it just takes you on Google Maps and then it's like 
but then hop over here and you don't know how to get over to that starting point. So I found another hike that was close by, like a 10 minute walk. And I didn't realize that it was longer until like 30 minutes into the trail. And I was like, I'll just, I'll wait for him to ask. Yeah. If he asks. I was like, oh, we're almost there. <laughs> a beer is coming soon. No, nope, like not hearing quite. thunder in the distance. <laughs> yeah. And so. now we go uphill. All right, we just passed the sign, so I think that means we're almost at the end of the trail. Now we gotta kinda walk on the highway, which is always a little sketchy, but it's kinda how most of these hikes end in Mexico, it seems. Somebody lives there. Sometimes. It's a mile and a half on the road, uphill, up the mountain. But it's pretty. We made it to the top of the town. It was worth it. Now we just gotta find something to eat and drink. But yeah, it was worth it for this view. Says Mezcal and Cerveza. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if the Tender Chapel is not for me. No. How long did we walk? Nine. Nine miles. I also never told you that this was a moderate hike. <laughs> the one we were supposed to do earlier was easy. Typical. <laughs> mm. It's really good. It's nice and fatty. Potatoes are super buttery. Let's go 
because it's so cold. The foam is like freezing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just got done having dinner at a really cute little like home cooking restaurant called just Abuelas I believe yeah Los Abuelas yeah literally right down here had just really delicious home cooked food and it's a cute little mountain meal yeah I had a stuffed chicken breast yeah I had some fried pork and beans and rice and tortillas and Lots of cerveza. Mezcal. Mezcal. And it was all like 12, 13 bucks for everything. Yeah. It was great. Oh my gosh. So anyway, our epic hike is done. We yes. are going to take a taxi back to town and then hopefully catch the sunset. Yeah, it's setting fast, so. And then tomorrow we have an early day. We've got to take the, uh, the vomit van to Puerto Escondido, and I'm not sure how long that's gonna take, so. I think it's about four and a half hours, but. I hope. I'm gonna try to figure that out tonight. Yeah, we'll see. So, see y'all in Puerto Escondido.